Four doors are they secured? And the ballroom itself? Great. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll be down shortly. Thank you. You... You are breathtaking. Cassie, I've, I've never seen you looking more beautiful. Don't patronize me, Richard. I just told you you were beautiful. I would never patronize you, darling. You are beautiful. Beautiful, opposed to smart. Because you never tell me that I'm smart. Well, of course I do. Well, obviously, I, I'm not telling you enough, but I'm glad to tell you more often. Cassie, what's wrong? Do we have to go to this party? Well, we are the uh, guests of honor. It might be considered bad form if we didn't, you know, make an appearance. That's... that's it. Bad form. We have to worry about protocol. We have to worry about form. We have to worry about what's appropriate. And I have to go to this party and be the perfect princess and do the stupid dog and pony show for the entire town. And I'm not supposed to notice that everyone there is totally laughing at me. Who's going to be laughing? Why on earth would anybody laugh at you? Because of those stupid pictures in the embarrassing paper, Richard. Rourke and I, splendid in the grass. And to add insult to injury, Alan Spaulding is hosting the damn thing. So? So he's not my favorite person. Cassie, I had no idea you had a problem and with two, Alan Spaulding. And two, count two of your exes are going to be there tonight. Cassie, one of them is, happens to be your sister. Exactly. All right, you know, if uh, these photos are upsetting you, please, just try to block it out of your mind. Just try that, all right, Cassie? You're in your hometown. You're surrounded by friends and family and people that love you. Right, and, and people who also know that whatever was written in that bloody tabloid is absolute rubbish. And what about the people who don't know me, Richard? I, I'm, I'm supposed to be the, this image of perfection, not a hair out of place. That's my job. Well, I failed, royally. Cassie, you have not failed at anything. You, you are a beautiful person, and you are a wonderful princess. When I don't screw up. You know what this is, don't you? It's, this is nerves. That's all it is. You're nervous. Because this is your first public appearance since the, that, that dreadful incident in the park. But can I tell you something? You're not going to be alone, darling. I'm going to be with you. I'm going to be right there with you, and I'm going to be showing everyone just how proud of you I really am. They're going to be snickering at me. They're not going to be snickering at you. Oh, they'll be snickering at me. Of course they will. I mean, you know, after all, I'm the, the poor bloody fool who was cuckolded by the bodyguard, wasn't I? That was a joke. I'm sorry. You sure about that? Look, I think you're overreacting just a little bit here. Overreacting? Thank you. Thank you so much for taking me seriously, Richard. Great. So, what do you think you're doing? I'm not going. I'm not going. I refuse to be publicly humiliated again. Well, you know what, my dear? I'm afraid retreat is not an option. This party is for the both of us. And the both of us will attend it. Because you know what? It is our job. Like you said, it is our job. So just put your little shawl on and put on a step upper lip and deal with it, all right?